Hey, 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 YouTubers, today I'm bringing you a video to show you how to use your Nintendo 64 emulator on your PlayStation Mini with uh, Out of Bleam 0.9.0. First, we have to go to RetroArch. Okay, before I show before I, I show you how to configure your Nintendo 64 controllers, I want to show you all the menus available for all the DIMMs available for Auto Blim 0.90. I'm sorry, 0 0.9.0. We have to go to options by pressing the select button and let me show you all the themes. We have this one, the funny one. We have the Gran Turismo one. We have the Johnny Cash. I don't know who is he. We have the Metal Gear Solid. We have the Night Sky. We have Pepsi Man. Everybody knows that amazing video game, Pepsi Man. We have Pokemon. We have PS Buntu, The Punisher, Reboot, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, Rick and Morty, Rich Racer Type 4, Shadow Man, Shelves, Simplicity, Solar, Stranger Blim, Street Fighter 2, Tekken 2, Thank you. Tom Raider, Tony Hawk, Throne Reboot, Re I don't know how to pronounce this, Throne Reboot, or Reboot, Vader, Bolt 94, Segno Years, and that's, that's it. Okay, but my favorite one, let me show you my favorite one, is... This is my favorite one. So to confirm that you want to change your DIMM, you have to press the X button on your controller. And now let's go. Let's let's access. Let's access RetroArch by pressing the select button twice. One, two. Let's go to. As you can see, <coughs> the new AutoBlim 0.90 has a lot of goodies. Open board. Prince of Persia emulation station. Okay, let me show you how this works. Let's go to emulation station. It's actually retro arc. And as you can see, uh, now the PlayStation 1 Mini comes <coughs> with the Emulation Station pre-install. As you can see, we have all these systems already installed. We just need to add the we just need to add the, the artwork for the games. We don't have artwork, but I'm going to show you how the how to configure the sup actually it's 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 pre-configured already if you connect any controller it's gonna configure the controller for you but if you want to change some buttons you have to go to the <coughs> you have to press the start button and then go to control configuration and it'll do it for you for all the emulators included here so let's let's get super mario 64 the regular one, what is it? Super Mario 64. Okay, here it is. Let's let's open this Super Mario.
It's me, Mario! As you can see, it's been pre-configured already. You don't have to do anything else. So let's press start and see if it's working. Yeah, none, none of the buttons, for some strange reason, none of the buttons for your PS1 mini controller are working. I don't have a fix for that right now. But uh, what you can do is you can use a PlayStation 4 controller or a uh, Xbox One controller. That, that one will work fine. So now I'm gonna connect a... I'm gonna connect an Xbox One controller. So you can see the Xbox One controller is actually working. But not the PS1 mini controller for some strange reason. So now I press start and uh, now I'm using the... Xbox One controller, as you can see, everything is pre-configured. The analog sticks, um, all the buttons are pre-configured for you, so you don't have to do anything unless you want to change. Unless you want to change a button or something like that. I'm gonna show you how everything works. So yeah, you just have to. You just have to update your auto blim to the latest, so you don't have to, so you don't have to deal with the, all the control configuration stuff, which is sometimes is very confusing in RetroArch. But now with this new update, you don't have to do any configuration. You just have to use a Nintendo, uh, I'm sorry, and and PlayStation 4 controller or or an Xbox One controller. You can connect it via USB or you can also use uh, an 8 bito a Bluetooth 8 bito which is only like $15 and as you can see it's working perfectly fine the resolution is not that good but uh, we can increase it and make it make the Nintendo 64 games look much better but you can make you may have uh, performance issues if you do that. So I just rather leave it like that. And as you can see, everything is working perfectly with the Xbox One controller, but not with the PS One controller for some strange reason. But again, if I find a fix for that, I will let you know in the future. I will, I'm gonna be uploading a video to show you how to fix that. And yeah, it's working perfectly fine. All the buttons are working fine. Even the 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 <coughs> the right stick is configured for the camera, and as you can see, it's working fine. If you need to, if you need to. If you need a tutorial on how to install the new retro, I'm sorry, the new AutoBlim 0.90, I will I will leave you a link below in this video, so you can go to the, so you can go watch the video to update very easy. It won't take you probably 20 minutes to upload your your PlayStation One Mini to the latest AutoBlim. Plus you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have uh, OTG support with this new with this new update. Okay, I'm gonna exit this game. I'm gonna show you. Gonna exit this game. I'm gonna show you the RetroArch menu. If you wanna access the RetroArch menu using an Xbox One controller, you will have to press the Xbox logo button and the start button at the same time. So let me show you how I configure this. So if we go to if we go to options and if we go to quick menu I'm gonna show you the controllers. So I have here I'm gonna show you how the the first controller is configured. <laughs> So as you can see, it's working. Just give me a second, I'll be right back. OK, 
okay as you can see it's pre everything is pre-configured I don't recommend you doing changes if you don't know what to do this might cause your controller to stop working completely and in that case you will have to access your retro arc files and delete the the configuration file so it will start again okay so here it is so the A button is configured to the A button on your controller B button, the X button is configured to the to the B button and then the back button is not configured to any button well let me keep showing you all the these are all the digital ones this is the D pad and then we have the B button configured to C1 C4 is for the for the Y button and then we have L trigger, R trigger and the Z trigger is configured to your left trigger on your Xbox One controller and then the C buttons C buttons mode it's configured to the right trigger as you can see the analog sticks are now pre-configured left it's right, left, down, up and then we have the other, the, the right analog stick also configured to it now that we show you this we're gonna show you how to Okay, I'm getting a little bit confused here. Now we're gonna exit this game and I'm gonna show you all the content for the new retro boot 1.1. We have the applications here. We have uh, an Amiga emulator. We have Doom, Duke Nukem 3D emulation station, which is used, usually is used on RetroPie on um, RetroPie devices we have Open Board, Prince of Persia, Shadow Warrior, Tyrant, Wolfenstein 3D we have the Atari 2600, we have the Atari 7800, Atari Lynx we have the uh, PlayStation 1's games in Auto Blim. we have the arcade games, the main games which are also arcade games but actually the these are actually Neo Geo games mostly and then the main games are for other arcade systems. We have the PC Engine, the Game Boys, the Nintendo 64, the Nintendo DS. Oh, I'm almost forget. Um, now that you have updated your PlayStation One Mini to the latest retro, to the latest Auto Blim 0.90, you can now connect your PS1 Mini to Wi-Fi and you can get uh, all the artwork from the internet so you don't have to download it from your computer and then transfer in everything takes some time to do that no now you have you can do it directly from your retro boot if you have a uh, Wi-Fi connection and that's it my friends if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe share it with your friends if you haven't and subscribe if you haven't do that yet oh and if you have a comment or some or recommendation on what to upload next please let me know in the comments below big big thanks to Jose Lemus who was asking me about the Nintendo 64 controller configuration I hope this video helps you to configure your Nintendo 64 games using your PS1 mini and this is it let's quit RetroArch and we're back to emulation station If you want to exit emulation station and if you want to go back to Retroboot, you have to press the start button. Actually, let me. As you can, you can configure your controller here. 
Power select A, B, X, Y, L, R, L. Left thumb, right thumb, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. And then the hat key is the hat key is uh the Xbox. As you can see we have Virtual Boy here, MAME, ports. We have the ports here. Game Gear, Game Boy. Okay, my friends, thank you and see you on my next video.